Um, here we've got another odd plus a gerundive showing purpose for the purpose of completing these things. And notice, you can translate those actively, it, literally for these things to be completed or about to be completed, but you can say, in order to complete these things, and then um, duco ducere can be used as a verb mental activity, especially in the indirect statement. So it's kind of like pharaoh fairy was for in the Aeneid. So just um, watch out if you see a blue infinitive and the verb duco, um, it probably means they reckoned that or they figured that. Um, here's the exact same odd plus a gerundive to show purpose. Um, we've got an accusative duration of time. For many years, it won't have a preposition. And then here is another um, indirect command after persuadet. So he persuaded this guy to. Um, and then this is where you have to really start watching out for um, verb tenses. So persuadet, that's present. And then these, these pluperfects are, you know, stuff that's happening in the past past. Um, and then occupara there is an imperfect subjunctive. So be really, really careful with tenses because AP is really strict about that. Um, we saw an ablative, uh, an accused of duration time. Here is an ablative of time when. Here is another indirect command. It makes sense that they're commands because this is a military venture, so you'll see plenty of those. And then again, keeping track of the pronouns, um, he gives his own daughter to him, the other guy. Um, idem, eadem, idem. Idem, idem, idem is another word to watch out for. It's, it's, he will use that a lot, so it means the same. Um, and the dem always stays the same. So the way you're going to tell the case is by looking at the stem. And idem with no maker on is neuter, nominative, or accusative. Um, singular in this case, it's um, accusative. Um, here's another pair prefix, very easy. And then a supine, to do. Um, supines will either end in you, um, which qualify an adjective, it's easy to do, um, or they end in UM, which is another way of showing purpose. Um, propteria quad, we will see that another half dozen times. Um, and then again, these reflexives can get really tricky. So um, the subject of esset is, you know, he himself was about to obtain of his own. So so basically, you need to know that suai refers to ipse, and then you have to ask yourself, who's ipse? And in this case, it's orgetorix. Um, same thing. Um, orgetorix is this, the, um, the uh, subject of almost all these, these verbs, so he said that he would and with his own and with his own. So they will, they will modify the noun they're describing, um, but then they refer back to the subject of the sentence. And then, you know, here's another um, Mr. Rogers Blue word. They, having been led on by this speech, give. Um, and then uh, ablative absolutes translate them very literally with the kingdom having been occupied. Um, and then um, it, it's interesting in the uh, potior is a deponent verb. And I just looked it up because I had that, um, I said plus ablative in the vocab. And in fact, more often than not, it does take the ablative. But in this case, it's weird and it takes the genitive. So um, if you're going to remember one rule, it's that um, deponent verbs often take ablative objects. Um, but this happens to be an exception and it's genitive, and then you know you can see that IUS is what makes it genitive.